Hi everyone, I will be showing you how to use the ABC Clio database, which is one of the databases we have available through the Stephen Decatur Media Center. Um, I have already logged in, and when you log in, this is the homepage. Through ABC Clio, we have four databases to choose from. We have American History, Daily Life Through History, Issues, and the Pop Culture Universe. For this, I'm going to show you guys how to use the American History database. When you open this database, um, you can find information in several ways. You can utilize the search bar, or you can explore by time period. And the time periods go from exploration and colonization up through the age of globalization. Down here at the bottom of the first page, we have some tools we can use. Uh, we have strategies for writing and reading. We have a video about how to utilize the database. And we also have the Ask a Cybrarian feature, where if you cannot find the information you're looking for, you can submit a question uh, for assistance. So let's say you're using this database to write your seven-page research paper for U.S. history and you've decided to focus on the 19th Amendment. So you can go ahead and type that into the search bar and it will give you a list of resources. There's various resources available. You have reference articles, you have photos and illustrations, you have speeches, you have political cartoons. Now, if you wanted to narrow your search, you could use the advanced search feature. And here you can search by specific types of resources. For example, speeches, documents, letters, videos, etc. <clears throat> Now, if I was going to use this reference article about the 19th Amendment, a couple of tools I want to show you guys. Uh, there's a listen feature where you can have the database read to you. So let's see that. All right, so that looks like it's not working, but um, it will read to you using uh, software. You can also translate. Where you can translate these articles into different languages. You also have your citation information. So this will show you the different citation styles. You have APA, Chicago, and MLA. Don't forget that MLA is most likely what you're going to be using in your history classes. Um, you can save, you can print, you can email these articles to yourself. And if you scroll down to the bottom of each article or resource. Um, it has more information as well as that citation at the bottom.